guess what? We're going fishing. I'm pretty excited about this. Found ourselves a steal of a deal on a drift boat on good old Craigslist. We gotta go break it in. So we're driving to the Cowlitz River, which unfortunately is about four hours away. There's lots of rivers closer, but uh, this is one of our favorites. It's our home turf and supposedly right now, steelhead fishing is hot. Nothing like catching a steelhead. Odds are Brenda's gonna do all the catching and I'm gonna do all the rowing, but I'm still pretty excited. Back when we had jobs, a drift boat and a river was one of our favorite things to do on our days off. I can't tell you how many rivers we drifted and how many salmon and steelhead we caught. Tons. I'm excited. All right, we're gonna talk about it later because I got a long drive, four hours. Brenda's behind me in the van. We're gonna camp out for a few days, drift a whole bunch of river, hopefully catch some steelhead. It's gonna be great. All right, talk to you later. Driving. A good solid four hours of driving later, and we made it to the shores of the mighty Cowlitz River. And with the word on the street that Steelhead were in, well, we surely weren't alone. This place was packed. But since it's been close to six years since we dipped an oar in the Cowlitz, I've got to say, it was awful nice to be back. It's time to go to work. Got rowing to do. We're officially fishing. This is great. I'm feeling pretty good about today. We'll see what happens. There's a reason they call it fishing and not catching. We'll see if we can wrangle something into this boat. We've got to break it in. This is the mighty Cowlitz River. Supposedly there's some steelhead in here. Give it our best shot. But I'm feeling pretty good about the new boat. It feels lucky. I have a lucky lure. I should have poured a little coffee on it because it's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> Get them all jacked up. With the anchor down, coffee in hand, and a couple of lures in the water, there's really not much more to do than sit and wait and hope for a bite. Fishy, fishy. And when your coffee's gone and down the gullet, and if your strategy doesn't seem to be working, well, that's Changing when it's it time to mix it up and get your butt back to work. Cause I'd eat that one. What do you got, Brenda? I got a, I a got stick. A stick fish? Yep. Uh. These are rare. rare. I, lost, I lost it. And when you can't seem to catch anything but a stick fish, 
that's when you mix it up again. This time, it's a little bait on the end of a bobber and a well-known steelhead producing slot. Been at it for three hours. So far, nothing. Slow going. We're moving down river. See if we can find something down there. But at least it's warming up. It's gonna get hairy. on the inside here. Just pass that inside slot. If you survive the harrowing run down the big and burly whitewater and don't blow chunks over the side while you're doing it, that puts you face to face with one of the best steelhead hidey holes on the entire river. And if you can manage to hook one here, thanks to the fast moving current, be prepared for a battle of epic proportions because it's gonna get wild. But after another hour of throwing everything we had at him, with still no luck, it was time to move on. Well, no fish. They might end up being a boat ride. But, gorgeous out, and... We're on a boat, on a river. That's pretty great. This is probably my favorite way to fish. Just drifting. Got a drift boat. Seems fitting. Just kind of hang out, go with the flow. Hopefully catch a fish along the way. Driving Miss Daisy. Nice. Let's go around here. Well, so far we've got zero fish. Not for a lack of trying. Just throwing everything we got at it. Plugs, bait, lures, more bait. Everything. But that's why they call it fishing and not catching, I suppose. But uh, I don't exactly feel terrible about it because at least we found some shade. That's pretty nice. Well, little bits of it. It's been blazing hot. But uh, we also just had a guide stop by who's had six people in his boat for the last three days. And in three days, they haven't had one bite. So I don't feel so bad. Ooh, fish just jumped. If you've watched some of our previous sailing videos, you probably know we love fishing. If we're going from point A to B, especially in the tropics, we're dragging the line hoping for a tuna or a mahi, something good. But that version of fishing is a whole lot different than this one. 
That's really transportation with the hopes of dinner. This is more like a game of chess. You not only gotta read the river and the currents, the rapids and the rocks and all that stuff, you got kind of a cunning adversary who doesn't want to come home for dinner. And it turns out those elusive steelhead, well, they're pretty hard to catch. But even if we don't catch anything, I can't think of many better ways to spend the day than hanging out on a river. Got ice? You should try it now and then. Yep, it doesn't seem to matter if we're hiding out in the shade or anchored up at another hidey hole and having lunch while fishing the seam. It's just a pretty great way to spend the day. Would it be better if we had a couple of big old steelhead sitting on ice in the fish box? Well, yeah, that probably goes without saying. Because as much as we like fishing, we like catching even more. But unfortunately, even with everything we threw at them, and every last trick we had stuffed up our sleeve, today was not going to be our day. The cunning and elusive steelhead? Well, they got the better of us. Turns out, we just went for a pretty nice boat ride with some pretty great company. And I don't know about you, but I'd consider that a success any day of the week. So, due to the current pandemic and the fact that we can't exactly rejoin our sailboat and continue sailing around the world at the moment, at least for the next few months, we're going to be doing a whole lot of this, especially once salmon season gets to be in full swing. So if you're interested in seeing us explore a bunch of Washington and Oregon's coastal rivers in search of salmon and steelhead, let me know in the comments below and maybe we'll bring some cameras along for the ride. But if not, well that's alright too. We'll just have some fun on our own. that's about it for this episode. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time with hopefully a little less of a sunburn and a whole lot less sore muscles. That's it. No fish. But we survived. And we at least have memories from when we actually did catch fish. Oh, he's a feisty one. A feisty fish.